everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. If you are new, hello, my name is Jordan and we have quite a bit of fun on my channel so you should definitely hit that subscribe button. I am also participating in Vlogmas so we have a bunch of festive content coming your way and you definitely don't want to miss out on any of that. In my Vlogmas Day 1 video we went shopping for holiday decor as well as decorating my entire house so naturally today's video is going to be showing you all the decorations we put out throughout my house and also in my bedroom. I absolutely love how our house turned out. It looks so festive and Christmas is absolutely my favorite time of year, my favorite season. So all of December I go ham and the decoration reflects that. So before we hop into it, if you want to follow any of my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Visco, TikTok, I will have them down below, links included. And with all that being said, let's get right into it. So we're gonna start off strong with my favorite part of the house, the living room. So here's quickly just an overview of what it looks like. So here we have our wreath. My mom actually made this a couple years back and we've been hanging up ever since. I think it's so pretty. I'm not really sure where any of the decorations are from. She bought the plain wreath from Pier 1, I believe, and then, you know, decorated with stuff from Joann's maybe. And even though I usually prefer gold, I think the silver is really, really pretty. Below the wreath is just our side coffee table next to our couch. So we just have these few little decorations on this marble tray. I'm not sure where we got, where did we get this? Let's see. Oh, I don't know. This was probably a gift, honestly. And then I know for a fact the other two pieces were also gifts from my mom's students. That is from Pier 1. It's so cute. And then we got a little snowman skating guy. Hi Coco! Of course, Coco is in her natural habitat, just chilling. On the opposite side of the couch, we have another little coffee table. So on this one, we just have four nutcrackers. Some of them were actually my grandpa's who passed away, so we inherited them, and now we put them out every year for Christmas. I think they're super cute. I know some people are like creeped out by nutcrackers, but it reminds me of my grandpa, so really like these. Then next to that table, of course, we have the main attraction, our Christmas tree, and we actually use a fake Christmas tree. I love the look of a real one, but it's just so much cleaner and easier to have a fake one. So we just went for a really minimal approach this year. So usually we go all out with ornaments, and sometimes it's a little too much, so I just wanted to go simpler this year, so we just have these really pretty gold ornaments. I actually got them from the dollar store in a pack of 12, so they came with these little sparkly ones, and then there were also these just like matte gold bulbs as well we have these like gold bows all over and then of course we added a couple other different ornaments that we already had now moving on to my favorite part of the room and this entire house the fireplace I think this is just so stunning so cozy there is nothing better than sitting by the fire watching a movie and I just think all the decorations look so nice. So we just have this really thick garland that actually was my grandpa's as well. And then we put our biggest nutcracker in the middle. And then we just have four different stocking holders. Our stockings are pretty basic, but I like that they all match. And then my brother and mine has our initials on it. And of course we couldn't forget a cute little stocking for our Coco. Also, I absolutely love this little ladder. It has Santa and his elves climbing up. So cute, oh my gosh. On our TV stand, we just have this little glass fixture. And on the other side, we have this little star ornament that my grandma actually gave my mom. And then over here, we have another table and we just have this little fixture. All the people are skating, it actually moves around, which is so cool. And it has obviously like other little village pieces, so some trees and whatnot. And we've had this thing forever. I couldn't even tell you how old it is. One of my faves, definitely a classic in the Bauth fam. Another thing my dad made, he's quite the handyman, is this wine rack, but above it we just have 
this little reindeer guy and it actually is meant to hold Christmas cards so you can put the Christmas cards right in here We don't usually keep our cards here because we get way more than this allows us to hold But we still put this little reindeer guy out because he's really cute We're now moving on to the kitchen so First, we just have our classic wine holder, which we have year-round, but we just put this little ornament on the bottom. It's just a little present. I think I won this in like a basket raffle or something. Over here, we have our baker's rack, so we just decorated the bottom shelf. So first, we have this little bin that says Merry Christmas, and we hold all our Christmas cards in here. We have our Christmas countdown, which we haven't updated. We need to do that. And then I just put down a sheet of like white felt just to kind of imitate snow. We have these little houses my dad made. Kind of looks like a village, and we just added two little mini candles right here. And then the last thing on this shelf is just these two little wooden skaters. There's a lot of skating decor in our house. You know, I'm a skater, my mom's a skating coach, so what do you expect? And then we just hung this little Santa sled that says welcome. We usually put this like at the entrance, but we kind of rearranged the decoration this year. We have another little ornament just chilling. We just kind of put these wherever it adds a little more festive spirit everywhere you look. And then one over here as well. Underneath this plant, we just put these two little guys. We have so many little knickknacks. So Next to this plant, we have another little mini table. So we just added this little stuffed animal that has skates on it and a painting that my mom made at Paint with a Twist, I think it's called. It's the little Charlie Brown tree. I think she did a really good job, actually. Above our sink, we just hung some of our new cookie cutters. We just bought these from TJ Maxx and they're like rose gold coppery, but I thought they were really cute to actually put on display as well. And I'm so excited to bake with these because we've had the same cookie cutters for probably two decades now. So now we've got lots of options. And for our last decor piece in the kitchen, we really don't decorate the kitchen all too much. It's just this empty old wine bottle. It says electric reindeer, it's so cute. And then we put some colorful lights in it. This would be a really awesome gift as well. If you're trying to think of something cute and easy to make, this is a really good gift. In our downstairs bathroom, we did add these little lights. It's actually like a necklace, but it lights up. So that's cute. And then we just put those skate ornaments in the middle to fill up the empty space. So if I turn the light off, it looks like that. Moving on throughout the house, we've got this little Santa fixture and a gnome. To frame our office, because we didn't decorate the office at all, we just hung this garland. It's really thin. It's much thinner than the one on our mantle. And this one has lights as well. And it connects really nicely to this little side table, which has a bunch more knickknacks, you know, snowmans on snowman, and some little village pieces, which I think are cute. We've had these for forever as well. On the back of our front door, we just have this snowman that says The Bouts. I believe we got this made maybe at a art festival or maybe we got it as a gift. And then on the front of the door, we have pretty standard wreath and it turns on like so. We didn't decorate it, but it's fine. At the bottom of our stairs, we just have some more skate decorations. Are we surprised in the slightest? No, we're not. We are not surprised. In our dining room, we just have these little ornaments hanging from the light fixture because we don't really decorate too much in here. And we have this snow globe that spins, which is cute. It's time to move upstairs. At the top of our stairs, on this tiny little rally, we just put another little garland. Very simple. 
you know, spruces it up a bit. And then on the other railing we have that just overlooks our living room, I just put this gold glitter garland that I got from Dollar Tree for literally a dollar. And last, but certainly not least, my bedroom. So first, this little bow is from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. One single buckaroo for this bad boy. Without further ado, let's open the door. And of course, here's my room. So, let's start with the bed. That Sparkle Garland Dollar Tree. I have this snowflake pillow that I've had for many, many, many years for Christmas. It's a classic. And then I did, of course, add two throw blankets. So this first one, I don't remember where I got it. I want to say it was a gift. And then this one, this red one, I got from TJ Maxx. My little mini Christmas tree is looking a little sad, but I've had this since I was like four years old. So it is a tradition to put it out every year. Doesn't have any lights on it, but it does have all these unique ornaments that I've gotten over the years as gifts and stuff, so I just love having this next to my bed. My desk looks pretty much the same as it always does. I just swapped out a few things. So first I just got this set of three white trees with a gold pot, so I just put one of them on the right side of my desk. Everything else is pretty much the same. And then on the left side of the desk, I have my I Believe candle swapped out. I got this from Target. And I also have another little fake Christmas tree. This one is just like a gold and white. I do keep these white Christmas lights up year round near my window, but I did add this little decor piece. Again, Target. I think this honestly was like a fall decor piece, but I thought it fit the theme well since it's gold. It's kind of hard to see with the backlight, but you get the point. I absolutely adore this table. So starting on the left, so I bought these three little fake flowers from the dollar store. So in total, it was $3 to make this piece. So cute. And the vase was looking a little bare, so I did put in a mini string of Christmas lights just to uh, add a little something. Next to the vase, I just have this little canvas I painted myself. Pretty simple, really cute super effective. If you're looking to make something for your room but you don't know what and you don't want to spend a fortune, these two pieces right here, there you go, you're all set. On the other side I have another one of those fake trees and I paired it with this stunning gold reindeer from Target. These are both from Target by the way. Below that shelf I just have this little embroidered piece so it's just a wine glass with a Santa hat. I thought it was really cute and different than anything I've seen that's like holiday decor, so had to get it from TJ Maxx. And last but not least, I just swapped out my light box. So before it said say yes to life, and now I switched it to Marion Bright. I just thought this was cute and something I already had that I could reinvent. And finally, in my bathroom, I just have this little gingerbread soap dispenser. I also got this from TJ Maxx. I thought it was to die for. And in this little corner, I have my third and final white faux tree. And I have two little, you know, holiday scented candles. So my cinnamon caramel swirl and I don't know what this one is. What is this one? Tis the season. Those are both from no other than Bath & Body Works. So that wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's holiday house tour and room tour. If you guys do celebrate Christmas, let me know down below if you have a fake tree or you get a real tree every year. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Vlogmas content. I really appreciate you guys from the absolute bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.